Yeah, it's your boy Buck 50, fucking with DME TV. Way too much flex, flex, not enough hustle. Things are working out. Yeah. I got it off the muscle. Yeah. Just a year ago, I was knee deep in the struggle. Yeah. But now they looking cause they never know. I'm 50. What's poppin', bruh? What's good? What's good? Nah man, just cooling out. Come check you out, see what you got going on. So um for the people, man, don't know don't know you, tell them who you are, man, where you from. Alright, yeah, I'm both 50. I'm from Columbia, South Carolina. But I Rosewood, born and raised Henley. You feel me? Snakes and Gators. It's a clothing line that represents my music. I'm both fit the artist, not connected to any label. The Snakes and Gators is just a brand that that I had and I use it to promote my music. Okay. So kind of tell us how Snakes and Gators got started, man. How you came up with the name? Uh, when I came up with Snakes and Gators, uh, it was about 2014, I believe. Uh, we was going to a lot of events. You know, represent other artists. I had did music. One of my other partners, Bilo the Trapper, he's doing music. My little brother do music, and just different people we used to network and be around. You know, and we were like, man, even though we separate energies, we need, I wanted to make something that represented us. You know, when we went out and we stepped, and it wasn't just music. So it wasn't that many clothing lines out. You know, I saw a lot of ENTs doing their shirts down. Like, Shit, I just have a clothing line. So I came up with, I came up with the name of like, of. Just riding, me and my lady was riding, and I was thinking of something that would be fitting and something that meant something. So I thought of snakes and gators, you know, and thought of a metaphor, you know, because snakes are crossing, you know what I'm saying? You never know what a snake, it might be friendly, but you never know what it's gonna do in the end. A gator, you're gonna respect what it is, because you already know what he kind of do, he buy business. But he, most of the time, a gator chilling. You feel me, when he bother you, you don't fuck with them. So, you know what I'm saying? Came up with Snakes and Gators Company, you feel me, the clothing company. I started making t-shirts. I did, I sold shirts for about five, six months. And then it kind of died off a little bit because, you know, the team kind of separated. Okay. So I know you rep Henley Homes. I'm not from Columbia, so you could kind of explain that, man, the area of Henley Homes and how I was growing up Henley Homes, man. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I was born and raised in Henley from 84 to 2000. You feel me? Right out Rosewood. It's crazy out there, you know what I'm saying? Raised around drug dealers, crackheads. Niggas that rob people, you know what I'm saying? There's good people out there too, you feel me? I was involved with a lot of after school programs, things in the neighborhood, and I used to be around people that did what they shouldn't do sometimes, and at an early age, you know, my family was in to a lot of the streets, so I kind of raised around it, so, and if you in that vibe, you kind of succumb to it, but I didn't put fall full into it, but that was here and there, you feel me? Word, right, that's what's up, man. So you've been grinding, man, and shit, dropping mixtape. How many mixtape you dropped in the last, uh, let's say, year? Uh, in fact, I dropped from October, from about August, October, September to about February. I dropped about four mixtapes in like six months. And I got on my fucking grind, the hustle tape. That's my first one I dropped on the Snakes and Gators. And I got respect the hustle on my fucking grind too. Then I got on my fucking grind three, the pressure tape. Then I got the book help me tape that I dropped on Valentine's Day. I just dropped recently. You know what I'm saying? It's all on that pill. And I also had one of my older mixtapes, White House and Gold Rappers, that been on that 2013. So you be that's a throwback right there, bro. And right. last year, yeah, I just dropped four. Where? Yeah. So so what's next for Buck Fifty, man, as far as music wise? Uh right now I'm um, working on a single produced by my dog Deezy. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Called Jump on it. Jump on the D, uh, jump on the D. We trying to come up with a name, with yeah. It, you know what I'm saying, but it's it's for the club, and I'm working on some other songs to follow it as well, and building my brand and merchandise for the Snakes and Gators Company. Okay, so you're gonna drop a you're gonna drop an album, or are you gonna just you know an EP, or are you gonna just drop I'm, some singles? I'm gonna drop some singles at first, okay. and then prepare myself to drop an album. Just trying to build momentum up for that, you know, try to broaden my fan base, try to get my sound, and my brand out there first. Never know what's in the duffel. Way too much flex, not enough hustle. Things are working out. I got it off the muscle. Just a year ago, I was knee deep in the struggle. But now they looking, cause they never know what's in the duffel.